Thank you, Mike. A shooting at an apartment complex has left one man dead. So this happened on the southeast side on Bullmore Drive around 6 last night. That's near Goliad and Pecan Valley. San Antonio police say a man in his 50s was found with several gunshot wounds. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. No word on any arrest in this case or what led up to the shooting. Prosecutors in Georgia have started calling witnesses in the federal hate crimes trial of three men convicted of murdering Ahmad Arbery. And as CNN's Ryan Young reports, racist slurs the men used in the past are now at the center of the case. Are these your verdicts now? The three men convicted in a state trial in November, murdering Ahmad Arbery as he was out for a jog. Guilty. Now standing trial for federal hate crimes. Prosecutors largely avoiding race in their murder trial, now focusing on it as they attempt to prove Travis McMichael, Gregory McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan acted out of racial animus. Assistant U.S. Attorney Barbara Bernstein laying bare past racist comments from all three men in her opening statements, citing social media posts and messages to friends in which Travis McMichael used racist slurs and offensive language in one text, quoting Travis McMichael as saying zero in words work with me. They ruin everything and that's why I love what I do now. Not an in word in sight. The prosecutor also telling the jury to expect testimony about Greg McMichaels from his days as a police officer that the senior McMichael had once ranted that those blacks are nothing but trouble and that William Bryan Jr. also made derogatory racial comments when he found out his daughter was dating a black man, quoting him as saying that his daughter has her in word now. Attorneys for the defendants each making their case separately, acknowledging their client's use of racist language in the past, saying it's wrong, but insisting that they follow Arbery that fateful day only because they believe he had illegally entered a house under construction, not because he was a black man. The three men already sentenced to life in prison, but this case is important to Arbery's family and in general, as it tests how the legal system deals with allegations of violent racism. Another notable difference in this trial, the jury is more diverse with three black jurors and one Hispanic in addition to eight white jurors, unlike the murder trial, which consisted of 11 white jurors and only one black juror. None of this is any easier this time around for Arbery's mother to have to listen to on a daily basis. I think it's going to be a long, long, hard trial. A whole lot of um, hard evidence is going to come into play, so I got to be prepared for that each and every day. Ryan Young, CNN, Atlanta, Georgia. Back here in Texas, two Harris County deputies were shot in the Katy area just west of Houston last night. According to the sheriff's office, a suspected shooter has been pronounced dead at the scene. Deputies described the situation as an ambush, saying when the deputies arrived, the 43-year-old suspect pointed his weapon at law enforcement and fired his weapon. Deputies fired back and the suspect died at the scene. Sheriff's office says the deputies did not appear to have life-threatening wounds. One was shot in the leg, one has a graze to the ear. Both are stable and are expected to survive. Russia has made two moves to ease tensions around Ukraine. It reported a pullback of troops near its neighbor and is welcoming talks with the West. But the United States and its allies say they need evidence of the troop movements and that the threat of a Russian invasion is still a concern. President Vladimir Putin says the Russia, that Russia does not want war and will rely on negotiations and efforts to eliminate any chance that Ukraine could one day join NATO. The Biden administration is telling Congress it needs an additional $30 billion to press ahead with the fight against COVID-19. The Associated Press says the request includes nearly $18 billion for vaccines and treatments, $5 billion for testing, $3 billion to cover coronavirus care for uninsured people, and nearly $4 billion to prepare for future variants. Congress has already approved $5.8 trillion to battle the pandemic and a series of major bills spanning the Trump and Biden administrations. Right now it's 436, about 60 degrees.